How did you find out that you were HIV positive? Well, I know the guy died, and I know I went to the MB, mm -hmm. and I know I kept it from him. But he don't die. He don't die. So and did you go and get a test? Yes, I went. Of your own? Of my own. How did you feel when you... Well, I didn't feel bad, I was crying, but then after they say, well, if you take the medication, you can live a normal life. So I started taking the medication, and it's 20 years now I'm living with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I become a diabetic one year now, I'm a diabetic. I have to get stuff to eat to take my medication then, and I'm not working, I don't have nobody to give me nothing, but I'm still hanging on. Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Kenton Chance of Eyewitness News and I'm here in what is essentially the home of a woman who's been living with HIV AIDS for the last 20 years or so. And it is honestly shocking that someone, regardless of their health status, can be living in circumstances like these. This room is not six feet wide. This is a single bed, or what appears to be a single bed, and it's hardly, and the space is just about two feet wider than it is. This is all her personal defects. There's some, um, there's a kerosene lantern, two, two kerosene lamps here, some Christmas decorations, and you can see she's trying her best to make it look and feel like a home. And in a few minutes, I will speak to her. These are just, these are pieces of polythene plastic and galvanized zinc, zinc sheeting. And it, it, it seems to me that when it rains, that, that water probably comes in here. This seems to be a reflector from, um, that is used to prevent to reflect the heat on from a vehicle's windshield. And um, well, this is her home. And she's invited me here to talk to us. What is your name, Miss? Gillian Webb, please. Okay, what tell me a little bit about your circumstances. Well, actually I'm not working, I'm living with HIV. And plus I'm a diabetic. How long have you been living with HIV? Twenty years now. Twenty years now? Yes. So you uh, open about your status as an yeah. HIV positive person. Yes, yes, yes. When was the last time you worked? Can't tell us. Can't tell us. I worked. I had to beg for something to eat. I don't have my family giving me nothing. I had to beg. You have to beg? Yeah, sometimes I go by the welfare, for a little help, a little assistance, stuff like that. How did you come to leave the house where you were living with your family? Well, actually, I was in a problem. I was used to drink, but then I had a course, mm. and that's how I get to leave. Who did the house belong to? It was my aunt, but she lived in a different side. Of Sion Hill? Yeah. She did did the fact that you had HIV have anything to do with it? No. No. Tell me a little bit about these this this house in which you live. Like, well, my neighbor tried to help me. To, she said I could be a little shack. She can't do no better, so she's just my neighbor. She gave me a little water and stuff like that. I cook and water, as you can see my pot them. I don't have a stove. I just... Where's your family? Um, I have some family. Some of them live village, all about, but they don't care nothing about me. We don't ask them for nothing. Do you have children? Yes, please. Where? How old are they? Well, the big boy is 27. He's not home. I'm not saying tongue somewhere. He do And I have the second one, but the second one is now with me. So yeah. if you see him in the street, you would not know him? I would not know him. I would not know him. So how do you feel about that? Well, I used to ball, I used to ball, I used to ball, but I just get accustomed. I used to cry a lot. But I get accustomed. 
Why did you give him up for adoption? Because too much I had a drinking problem and stuff like that. Are you over your drinking problem? Yeah. How were you able to get over it? Well, sometimes I just say I just can't drink and just forget to t stop taking my tablets there and you know and I pray and you just Do you go to church? No. You don't go to church? No. But you're religious? No. Christian? No. Oh. Do you... Oh, but you believe in God? Do you believe in God? Of course, I believe in God. Okay. I believe in God. And I believe I have more, more life to live with this HIV. Yes, I live 20 years, I could live more. I always believe that. I always believe that. But nearly you know, the people who might have HIV who are in relationships, people who've even gotten married and all of that. Yeah. But you just decide to stay on your own. On your own. I have to say so. Do you, how do you feel about the man who gave you HIV? Well, at least he could have told me. He had it, he could have told me. He did not. Have you been looking for a job? No. Why? I scared because people might say she HIV and you know stuff like that, so I scared. You're scared that yeah. people won't give you a job. Mm -hmm. So you just don't look. When was the last time you walked? I can't even remember. Last time I walked was by um I think it was by Vera by Vera. Mm -hmm. And the last time I walked. Was in the evening, what's the map? Was to map. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Why did you leave that job? Well, because of the pushing, was humbug in my chest. Does this house no, well, leak when it rains? Yeah, but they just catch by the plastic, so it just run outside. Mm -hmm. You see, as you could see, I'll be to run outside. So who built this for you? Me. You but built it yourself? Yeah. I couldn't do no better. Can't live on the street. I couldn't do better. I just try my best to do something. So, for, for the people who are watching this, what would you like to say to them? Well, I like to say, I'm trying to make myself comfortable. I don't have no other choice. Tell God to think I'm not going to kill myself and I'm not going to share my sickness with no man. Mm. Just living still, trying to be happy. Uh -huh. What if people want to help you? How can they, be, how can they help you? They may like to build something for me. What, what help do you think you might need? What do you think people can do to help to make your life better? Well, actually, love and need things to eat to keep up my, myself, mm -hmm. to keep up my body because I don't get weak. When I don't eat, I just get weak. And I have to eat to take my medication then. I have to eat to take them. Still living happy anyway. Making myself happy. But I mean the space in which you live is really, really small. Yeah. Mm. It's just pretty much a place to, to lie down and sleep. So what do you do during the day? Yeah, I just lie down and sleep, I hang around by the neighbor there, sit on the porch. Mm -hmm. And just lie down, sleep. Before. Maybe I asked you this before. How long have you been living here? I've been mean, living a good while. Cool, Have you approached the government and asked them for assistance, maybe in building a low income house? I asked by the welfare, and they said they don't give out those kind of uh, materials, and so they don't give out. Those what, kind of things. So what, I just forget about that. I'll just say, okay, well, if I look ahead with something to eat, it's fine. So, do you get public assistance? No, I went in for that, and the lady, I went by the lady. In Frenches, she had me farm everything and never, it was about four years now. Four years, and I never call her back again because she tell me I looking good still, and I, I don't know, I, me, I have to know, I don't understand. I understand what's going on. I just live in life and just wait on Christ, that's all. I go away. 